first step is to log in with your email and password. When you first log into the system, you'll come to the dashboard. To access your cards, go to the left hand menu and click on cards. This will bring you to the cards page where you can search for and view previously submitted cards. To create a new card, click on the new card button at the top right hand corner of the screen. This will bring you to the create card page. The first thing to do when setting up a new card is to select a start date and an end date. You can also select a supervisor that was working with you if you've got any link to your account. This particular account doesn't have any linked supervisors, so this menu is blank. And lastly, you can add a note that will be attached to the card if you need to. The next step is to add in the details of the work you've actually performed. To do this, select a work area from the work area menu. This brings up a list of core work areas with a list of elective work areas underneath. Note that there's a lot of elective work areas, but only one or two of those will be actually relevant. So you'll need to sit down with your RTO to determine which elective units are in your training plan, and that will inform which elective work areas are relevant to your work experience. When you're ready, select a work area and hit save, and that will appear on your card. The next step is to add in an amount of hours for that work area. Then select a support level. Then select activities. This is the planning, carrying out and completion of the task. It's important to select as many items as were relevant for the work. And next, select the equipment range. This is the equipment that was associated with the work. And it's important again to select as many items as were relevant. If you've made a mistake, you can remove a single item by clicking on the X or you can open up the menu again to add additional items. When you're ready, click add to add it to the card. You can also go back and edit this work area by clicking on the edit icon. You can add another work area by scrolling down and clicking on the work area button. It's important to make sure that the hours worked for all the work areas you've added to the card add up to the appropriate amount. So if you've selected a start and end date for the card that covers two days, then you could reasonably assume that the hours for that card should add up to about 16 hours. Finally, for any particular work area, you're able to drag and drop files such as photos into this section here, and you can add a note for that particular work area. When you're happy with your card, you can either save as a draft to double check later, or you can save and submit. I hope this video has helped you better understand how to use the exemplar profiling system. If you need help, try talking to a teacher, or you can contact our help desk using the details on your screen.